Welcome to Teens on Topic. I'm your host, Emma Arnson, and today I'm joined by... Eric Aguilar. And Zoe Poppingay. We have a very interesting topic today, but before we get into that, let's hear what the people of Davis have to say about it. Uh, do you guys think that cosmetic surgery has a positive or negative impact on our society as a whole? Um, I think it depends because in some cases, cosmetic surgery for like for say a burn victim might be good, but then when you have it meet like certain beauty standards, it gives like false ideals and impressions to like the masses of society. But I think it just depends on circumstances. Sometimes I think nowadays you see it more in a bad way for like the beauty standard versus the more the helpful way that where, where it should be needed. For sure, thank you. Do you have any thoughts? I think sometimes it just depends on like the person, what they want, like if they want something, they should have it. And if it's cosmetic surgery, then it, like, they should go for it. Um, yeah. Pretty simple minded. I mean, it's uh, some people who have undergone a, uh, say a traumatic uh, um, accident or something and they, they can't go outside because everybody looks at them and say, well, they feel like a freak. And we've got, now we can take that face, we've got the ability to remake that, and you can't even tell they've, they've had it. Well, See, absolutely, sure. That's the same thing as that, saying, well, you know, if a, if a little ch uh, child is born uh, with a, a cleft palate, you should never change it, you know, because, you know, or that's terrible. Well, it's not terrible. What we're talking about is love, basically love. So you think that, like, for non-cosmetic reasons, more reconstruction type things, cosmetic surgery should be uh, allowed, and it helps our society in that way? Well, sure. I mean, but you know, it's that's why we live here rather than in Russia. You know. Now, where I read in the paper uh, a while back that it was one of those little countries that didn't believe in any kind of cosmetic surgery, and if you did it, you got killed. <laughs> So all that stuff goes together, you know. I mean. Yeah, all that stuff, you know. I mean, that's that's what uh, that's why it's called progress, and uh, I'm old enough to know that. So. <laughs> uh, do you think cosmetic surgery, for purely cosmetic reasons, is beneficial to society, and why? I don't see much benefit, society, like in terms of society, but I do think people have the personal choice to get cosmetic surgery. I currently don't see the benefits because I'm not a part of that industry. Um, what do you think? Economically, there may be some benefits, but in terms of just like societal benefits, I don't see a societal benefit to cosmetic surgery. Yeah, and I think another um, like more interesting question to ask is like why have cosmetic surgeries like come into existence? Um, and I think a lot of it has to do with um, our understanding of like what's the proper way to appear and like proper way to age. Um, in addition to like how like capitalism has developed and um, commodified beauty practices. I really think it depends on why the cosmetic surgery is happening. Um, I feel like you sh don't really need it to look like everybody else or a weird ideal, but if you need it because you've been in an accident, then yeah, please go for it. Um, I think it's both. I think that some surgeries can be like for like cleft lip and for like burn victims. I think that works, but I think also like cosmetic surgery, like women are beautiful the way they are and don't need it. So, yeah, I pretty much agree with that entirely. <laughs> Good question. I don't. I don't think not. To my opinion, if not, just because it's like it's always like too much insecurity in the world and too much kind of hate, in my opinion. So. Just be who you are and just love yourself for who you are. Awesome. Thank you so much. Well, it seems pretty unanimous of what the people said around Davis. Uh, what do you guys think about what the people of Davis had to say about it? Um, I, I think I definitely agree with this statement. If it's helping, if the cosmetic surgery is to reconstruct, like um, burn victims or possibly... Um, when someone has been in abuse and they have been hurt in some way. Um, but I actually kind of disagree that it shouldn't be allowed because I think it's an entirely up to the individual. In, in most cases, it's, it's different when someone has body dysmorphia. That is, a, that is something, a mental issue that needs to be fixed and that cannot be fixed with cosmetic surgery. It has been proven that that doesn't help fix it at all. It's about total, that's about total dissatisfaction of something else, which is a t an entirely different problem. But if someone has the money and the time to maybe get 
they get their nose, their chest, their butt. It, I think that that's, it's good for them that they, they are able to do that. But my problem is when um, cosmetic surgery is expected or um, people who have gotten cosmetic surgery are seen as um, beautiful people to look up to. Like that m money in Photoshop got them there. Like the Kardashians, I don't know if I'm allowed to or if I, sh or if I should be putting out names. But um, they're known for being, um, they're known for putting a lot of money into that industry. And the fact that they have the money and the time to do that, good for them. Um, but it's when people say, wow, what a beautiful person they are. What a beautiful family they are. It's, it's really sad because they didn't get that way naturally. And I don't think that that should be the expectation. Yeah, I agree with you. It's the choice of the person. Like if you want, it, want to, go for it. But like, as you say, that the Kardashians, well, I feel like they use their money for other ways to benefit, I guess, other people. It's because they have so much money. But, like, you know, that's their choice. But, like, like burn victims, also that was another one that helps them a lot, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, most people agree that the, not the, when something is, when someone is disfigured or something and that they have that to make themselves feel more confident, that's definitely a beneficial aspect to it. I think, personally, I think if you want to do cosmetic surgery and you want to get, like, your lips done or your nose done, then more power to you, as you said. I think that it only becomes a problem when either you are doing too much of it because I know a lot of people go like overboard and they like you know don't really even look like people anymore That's, afterwards yeah, like clowns <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then I think also I, I keep hearing these stories about people who go to foreign countries get really really cheap like uh, boob jobs or different cosmetic surgeries and then it just works out terribly for them so I think that is definitely in danger of it that people would feel the need to do that but not feel like they should do it in the United States, or at least when it's a more safe procedure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like they raise the prices on these surgeries because they're like, they're like they're good, but like because they're kind of not useful, you know, for the most part. I don't know. I know outside of the U.S., um, well, yeah, cosmetic surgery is definitely a worldwide thing. South Korea is really famous for parts of, I know, Brazil. Is it Brazil? I think they're very famous for cosmetic surgery. And I think some people feel that it's a necessity to get, like I said before, and that's when I find that it's more harmful. It's like when you go, um, they, they expect you to get all these things done or you will not be good enough to, you'll be not be good enough to function. I remember watching a documentary about, um, it was skin bleaching and um, surgery in South Korea. And it was, they, they had all these ads and campaigns shoved in your faces, get these surgeries, uh, shave your jawline, get that nose fix and pale your skin or else you will not be beautiful and you will not succeed. And that is, it's so incredibly harmful. And also, and also when people can't get safe procedures done, they'll go to a cheaper place, they'll go to a more dangerous place. And what, that's when you see iris implants. That's mm -hmm. another cosmetic surgery, which is not FDA approved in any way, shape or form. And it's when these plastic surgery people exploit their customers. Not every, not every surgeon does that, but some do. And that's where the, I think where the problem is. Yeah, there's like some people out there, like surgeons, not in the, I know not in the U.S., but like other countries that just tell you that's good for you, just for them to get money out of you. And so people just fall in the trap and trap and like they get these surgeries and end up like not working and like harm them, you know? Yeah, I, I know that I hear a lot of stories about people who get implants that it's not what they were told. Like it's not silicon, it's not... I'm, I'm not an expert on the type of uh, implants they have, but I, it, I've heard stories of, that it was like cement or stuff like that, that it just doesn't work out. And I think I definitely agree with you when the campaigning goes as far as saying you need them or even just to say that you would be beautiful if you got these surgeries is harmful. And I think that's definitely adding to a society that puts too much value on beauty. And 
I think if, if a nose job is going to make you feel that much more confident about yourself, like more power to you, but like it's not going to make you feel better on the inside, really. I, I, I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, I agree with you. I say you should love yourself who you are because there's only one person that is you. So you just find a way to love yourself and how you are without all this extra stuff. Mm -hmm. well. Yeah. well, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, next week we'll have another exciting topic as we always do.